It's Sunday, a day of praise, prayer, word, and worship of the Almighty God, however your time zone. It's good morning from here, from Hallelujah Everyday Studios. It's God bless you today. I'm your friend and host, Pastor Leke Toba. I'm reading from the Holy Bible, the book of James, chapter 3, verses 17, the New Living Translation. Bible says, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, it is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism, not partial, and is always sincere, non-hypocritical. Hallelujah. These, child of God, are all embedded virtues that I call seeds, seeds of divine heavenly wisdom. These days you find craftiness, smartness of men, dubiousness, using man-inspired wisdom or wisdom of the devil to manipulate things. God's plan for man is to exhibit pure holy wisdom, which leaves trails of peace. It does not build enmity, but friendship. We see this wisdom manifest in Solomon the king. Bible accounts of his wisdom so magnified around the world that Sheba, the queen of Ethiopia, came all the way to hear him. God's wisdom can't be received. There are so many truths I need you to know. Truth number one, God's wisdom is available to every believer. For God does not show favoritism, is not partial. Romans chapter 2 verses 11. Number two, truth that I want you to know. You simply need to ask for the wisdom of God. Wisdom from on high will give you counsel of what to do, how to do and when to do. Don't be afraid to ask God for a bit of his wisdom. For Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask of the Father who gives liberally. Hear this. Number three thing I need you to know. God's word is full of his wisdom. Meditate on them. Truth number four is this. The wisdom of God and the world's wisdom are not the same. God's wisdom is pure, while the world's wisdom is plotted, dark, manipulative, and of course, evil. Truth number five, the enemy will try to distract you from the wisdom of God. Child of God, wisdom is the principal thing, and these five truths about it will help you to navigate from the small to the big picture. Remember, if you seek the wisdom of God, if you want to have it, then you can count on receiving it. God won't withhold it from you. You simply need to ask of Him to give it to you. Then spend time in His Word if you need it. Spend time in His Word, in prayer, and listening to the Holy Spirit. Understanding that His ways may look different from the world's ways. Then, of course, refuse to let the enemy distract or confuse you. The wisdom you need, that is God's wisdom, is available to help you to live successfully no matter what you face. I pray the wisdom of God for excellence upon you, the grace and the capacity to know what to do, when to do and how to do. Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I pray strength from God, garnished with dynamic wisdom upon you. Your joy will be full. Every past disappointment turns to blessing from today. You will not sorrow over your children. You are blessed in the morning, blessed in the afternoon, blessed at night. Every strange woman programmed to bring down your marriage, I put angels of God on duty to disgrace them. Every strange occurrences, every vow of darkness to put you into tears and sorrow. Let the owners of evil load carry their load in the name of Jesus. Let your joy rise and shine in health and in good things. You are blessed and covered with the blood of Jesus. Whether it is convenient or not, your testimony shall surely come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday and anniversary to all celebrants of today. The Almighty God keep and uphold you in all things in Jesus' name. Please keep sharing the daily podcast messages. When you do so, you are also taking the good news of the gospel unto others. And there's always a reward and a covenant blessing that proceeds with that. A very big thank you to all who support the podcast in their own very, very special way. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Remember, miracles await you today. Happy Sunday in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Connect Hallelujah Every Day with Pastor Lege Toba on WhatsApp and WeChat or call plus 234 
or plus two three four eight zero two three three one nine four three six. Follow, like, and subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, and lots more. Have a great day, and remember, God's miracles await you every day in Jesus' name.